Barry took me to task recently by stating that VW car sales last year were 9.24 million, up 12% from last year, and Tesla sold only 1.8 million. Am I wrong to say they're going down? I'm Dave, this is Dave Takes It On. So am I wrong? Well, let's see. Well, first is Barry-1L1X right? He states VW cars sold 9.2 million cars in 2024. First error, no. VW did not. The 9.24 Barry has read relates to the VW Group for January to December 2023, not 2024, first mistake. You really need to check the facts. Next, it's not VW, but VW Group. That includes VW Cars, Skoda, Seat, Cupra, Audi, Bentley, Lamborghini, Porsche. But it doesn't stop there, because it also includes VW Commercial. Tratton Trucks, Man Trucks, VW Trucks and Bus, Scania, International. It's quite a collection. And quite a total, 9,239,500, or rounded up, 9.24 million. But again, that was for the full year 2023. So, how did 2024 go? VW Cars for 2024 sold 4,796,900, but that was just VW Cars. The VW Group sold 9.027 million, drop of 2.3%, not a gain of 12%. This is all my bread and butter, where much of my time is spent. For viewer states, VW sold 9.24 million, a gain of 12%. Do need to find out if it's true, where did it come from, what the actual figure is. In this case, the viewer is wrong. But in this case, like so many others, the viewer just stops there. Again, a loss of 2.4% or 12% is nothing. Minor swings that could go either way, the delayed launch of a new model or the release of a new model could cause far greater swings than this. So what else is going on? Is this a single drop in a long run of gains or a blip or a long drop in a long run of drops? What is a long-term trend? It's here you get a much better idea as to what's really going on. If you're enjoying this video, please do subscribe. It does make a big difference to us. Well, you need to look back five years, 10 years, 15 years and see the long-term trends and where a single year's results fit in. Look also at the profit. Is the profit growing? Are sales drop it, dropping, but profit margins growing to compensate so that the overall profitability is the same or better? How about the cost of goods produced, COGS? Is the cost of each car produced dropping with efficiency gains or rising with increasing overheads? It's here that things get a bit more of a worry than a single year of 2.4 drop or an imaginary 12% rise in sales. All these figures are readily available if you go and look. And I always, as, as I say, disclose my sources. So in the first graph, Statista, it's an open source, shows the VW Group vehicle worldwide sales from 2012 to 2024. So here the graph is instantly clear, but does need some interpretation. 2012, VW Group produced 9.35 million vehicles. In 2023, they confirmed they produced 9.24 million vehicles. In 2024, 9.03 million. Well, that's instantly an alarm bell ringing. Starting from 2012, VW Group is today producing and selling fewer cars. That's not good. Take the eight year period, 2012 to 2019, sales grew slowly but steadily, reached a peak in 2019 when it experienced massive sudden drop. Taken on its own, that would be a serious event. But we also know that a far more serious event, far beyond our control or theirs, caused it. That was COVID. Factories closed, supply factories closed, the world entered into a very austere period. The drop is actually totally expected based on that, and in its own way, totally normal. 2020 to 2022 were therefore exceptional, but the auto industry regularly reported that all was well, the core business was strong, and the market now had a huge pent-up demand built into it. People for three years had been unable to buy the number of cars they wanted and needed. So coming out of this in 2022 and into 2023, the industry would see a massive boom. They increased prices in anticipation. 
it never arrived. In fact, 2022, 2023 and 2024 never even got back to 2012 levels. There was no boom, no pent up demand, no making up for lost time. The sales just didn't happen, but excuses poured out. Supply chain issues, delivery issues, inflation, high interest rates, many, many more, but sales refused to return. And it's not just the sales that are the worry, it's the lost sales. If you take 2019, VW Group was geared up for another year of growth. They had enough factories to make a lot more. They had enough workers to make a lot more. They had enough parts to make more and were confident. Their year-end financial report, link to that down below, written by CEO Herbert Dees, talked about growth in 2020, about their cars becoming cleaner, safer, quieter, and fully connected with a modern VW boasting 10 times more software than a smartphone, which will increase to a factor of 20 or 30. They committed to the Paris Climate Agreement, they lifted their market share in China and ran a profitable market in Russia. 2020 was looking to be a great year for VW. These are all quotes from the CEO, who was then sacked less than two years later. But the big worry was that the five years from 2020 through to 2024 should have produced roughly 11 million sales a year. 55 million vehicles, yet actually produced 45 million. They lost, just lost, 10 million sales. That's more than a whole year's worth of sales. That hurts. They had the factories, they paid for the factories, they had the staff, they paid for the staff, they had the parts, they paid for the star, par, parts, but they didn't make those 10 million cars. Or if they did, they didn't sell them. But it gets worse. Their profitable cards are ice cars and their EVs not yet into profit. They are hoping to be, expect to be in profit in the next few years if things go well. The ice market is actually now shrinking even faster than the figures suggest. In 2024, the VW Group sold 9.03 million vehicles, but of them, over 400,000 were EVs. ICE were in reality about 8.6 million. This year, they stated they will launch their smaller EV, the ID2, which initially also will not be anywhere near making a profit until it gets into full swing and mass production. But it will take some sales away from ICE cars like the VW Polo. So I'm sorry, Brian, but you got the wrong figures. But even if they were right, the outlook for VW is already looking bad. However, politics being what it is, this tariffs business is making huge changes almost overnight. And the EU might just step in any day now and offer Legacy Auto a lifeline to go full bore EV this year. Subsidies, tax breaks, all sorts of help could be heading their way. And that could and would change everything. Without that, VW really is not looking very good. I'm Dave. Thanks for watching. A big thank you to our Patreon members who support the channel. And a thank you to all viewers who do leave comments. Just please try and get the right comments and the right figures.